Well, let's very quickly do Contiki. But this was uh, two years ago um, up for uh, the uh, Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film. It's a dramatised reconstruction of the Contiki journey. You know, obviously, there was the famous documentary, which in 1952 won the Oscar for Best Documentary. It's an extraordinary journey going across an ocean on a balsa wood raft in order to prove that, in fact, you know, people come from the South Americas, the Polynesian Islands, and it's what's great about the, the the movie is on the one hand you do get the sense of the madness of the journey the fact that it's the central character keeps saying things like have faith and every the other people with him say well yes but we're, we're adrift in the sea and we're all going to die and it spices the action up with things like there are shark attacks which are genuinely quite alarming when they happen but for most of it it's a retelling of a story which people of, with, of my age will be familiar yeah. but it tells it in a way but even though I think the most impressive thing is that even you though you know exactly how the story is going to end you know Know how the story pans out. It's surprisingly gripping. Um, it does a Can good job. Be bearing in mind the Belfast Titanic story, which we were talking about earlier, do you think people will know the story and do you think people will? No, I think that there are people who won't know the story of Contiki. I mean, it's a 15 certificate film, so obviously he's not talking to a very young audience, but it's a, you know, it's, it's, it's a kind of boy's own adventure that is completely you know, rooted in the truth, and I think it will take people as well back to that documentary. But which when is, you said documentary, you said the 50s. I mean, I remember it in the 70s. The documentary is 52, because the ex it? expedition was 1947, and it won the award for best documentary in 52. But of course, it was one of those stories which circulated over and over and over. I mean, I think I probably when first I was heard growing that up, on Blue it, Peter. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Exactly. And, there a, and there was a book, and I yeah. remember and maybe there was another TV show at the time or something, but I remember very much growing up and it being this fantastic Yeah, no, story. absolutely. And it was, it, it, it seemed like such a magic to, to only use the materials that the pre-Columbian settlers would have had available to them. So you use balsa wood, you don't tie the raft together with wire, you do it with what they would have, and then you you know, cast out to sea on the basis that you have a theory that this is how the settlers got there. You don't know. No. You, you don't know, but let's find out. And all the way through it, he keeps saying, the, 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 he keeps saying have faith. And yeah. everyone keeps looking at him like, well, yeah. it's, that's easy yes, for you to say.